Hi everyone, my name is Angela May Banbury and I'm the module leader for Place Memory Meaning and a very warm welcome to Place Memory Meaning. I'm delighted that you've chosen this module as one of your special electives as part of your final year. I was at the um, elective fair myself towards the end of the year and I saw what a fantastic choice of elective modules you had so I feel really honoured that you've chosen Place Memory Meaning um, for one of your choices for the next um, few months ahead. So um, I want to just explain a little bit about the module and also I'd like to set you a task to do over the summer. So the module, as the name suggests, looks at our relationship um, between place, the way that we remember and the memory and our interpretation and the meanings that we assign to places based on our experiences of them. So from that point of view, the module is, is, is really accessible and we could choose any place in the world and we could assign meaning to it. Um, the module enables us to dig deep and to be creative. It enables us to really think about the importance of place as a concept in geography, one of the bread and butter concepts with geography, in fact, and to relate those to our actual experiences. So there's lots of opportunities to explore new ideas and things that actually speak to us personally. Um, so that's really the essence of the module. This introductory video is just really to give you a sense of some of the key things to begin to think about. And with that in mind, I have um, a short summer task that I would like you to do. Um, so I'm just going to open up my screen here um, and make that available to you. So there's that first slide contains my contact details, so you should be able to see those fairly easily. This will be on the Blackboard site too, of course. The other thing that I want you to think about is um, what home as place means to you. Now, home is something that we can all identify with. Homes are something that we can all identify with. We are likely to have lived in different places over the course of our lifetime. Home is a subjective, um, concept, it can mean different things to different people. And it also changes over space, place and time. But one of the things that I've been aware of is the way in which home has shifted during um, the COVID-19 um, pandemic. Um, and I'd like you just to begin to think about the way in which home has been different for you during, during lockdown. I'm actually recording this on July the 15th, um, which is results day, of course, for everyone at Sheffield Town Uni. And also, it's the second week that Leicester as a city has been in lockdown. Now, I live um, about two miles outside the red zone that has been identified, but as geographers, you'll understand how arbitrary those um, demarcations of space and place are. Um, and I've noticed myself the way in which my uh, experience of home and my interactions with home and the relationships within the home have changed during the course of COVID-19. So I'd like you to just to begin to think about your own experiences and as we can see here on the slide, just as a little Ed memoir for us, um, think of your journey through homeless place during COVID-19. Where did you go when lockdown began um, in the third week of March? Did you stay in Sheffield? Did you go back home? What was it like then? And how do you think COVID-19 has altered the way we experience both urban and rural landscapes? Um, do you think that the pandemic has altered the way that you see landscapes, that you interact with landscapes as place? There have been a whole series of safeguards been put in place to try and protect ourselves and obviously spreading the virus any further. Um, in what way, based on your observations, do you think that's altered your sense of place? One of the things for me, just by way of example, was when the lockdown began. Um, normally I live on quite a busy road, um, two miles outside Leicester, um, but I was really struck by how little traffic there was. And of course, as lockdown restrictions eased, the way that that built up, and I guess more importantly, the way that capitalism seemingly ground to a halt during the period of lockdown. Again, of course, we see things opening up again, even though we're far from free from this dreadful virus. 
but we can use these things to our advantage because we can see them as a gift to help us think more clearly about these key notions place and when when we look back on our experiences of home and place more generally during the pandemic you know let's it'd be really interesting to see how our memory sort of plays with with those thoughts and the the enduring memories that we have of this period so that's really why it's important for us to document them and um, because the, the memory is fallible and we will be exploring that amongst many other interesting concepts during the course of the module so a reminder then so have a think about in what way has home been different for you during lockdown and how do you think COVID-19 has altered the way we experience urban and rural landscapes as place and bring your findings please to our first seminar which will be live probably using blackboard collaborate but i will keep you closely posted about that so meanwhile take care everyone thanks again for choosing place memory meaning as they say every journey begins with a thousand steps so let's see this as being step one um and uh, to um, what i'm sure will be a really exciting and interesting year for everyone so take good care and look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye for now.